Hey, it's Random Code here, and today we're going to talk about classes and objects in Kotlin. And it's just relatively simple, especially if you are familiar with Java. But if you're not, then just a quick sum up a class is kind of like a blueprint of an object, where an object is some kind of element which holds some data and often has some functions connected to it. So inside IntelliJ, if we want to create a new class, we would simply right click on the destination, new cotton class in this case and i'm just going to create a very simple cotton class and let's call it animal our animal class can be created have some kind of attributes and similar to java and as we have discussed previously we can do bar or valuable so let's do a val because it's not going to be changeable so we have val name type string and we then need to set it to some value. And for our constructor, meaning like the input path for our class, we need to put it inside. <clears throat> we would actually put it up here as part of the title of the class. So it's going to be a bit more compact compared to something like Java. So we would do a name of type string with a capital S. And we can then set our value name type string equals to the, let's just call this, maybe just to differentiate, call this animal name. So we can see that we clearly define our name to be our animal name to be our name. And because it's a value, we can then access it, but not change it. So if we didn't want to create an object of this class, so this is like the blueprint of an animal, we would then simply Create again a value of var, is it changeable? Let's do a value of an animal. It's going to be equal to a type animal. And note if you're familiar with Java, there's going to be no new keyword. So it's just an animal of type animal. And it's then going to take some input parameters, which is going to be similar to our basic constructor up here. So a name in this case, so let's call this animal bear, which is then a name or type. No, but let's just do it like this. And we can then access our name name from our animal by doing animal dot animal name. And we could let's just print it. Just show it works. So now when we run this, we create an animal object with the name bear. And it prints here. And if we want to change it, we do animal dot animal name equals dog. But note, we cannot change the name here because our animal name is of type value. So the value defines that we have getters, more or less, but not setters. And once again, if you're familiar with Java, we would have both the constructor, the attributes, and we then clearly define which values we can then get or set, so which can be accessed and which can be changed. But this is done in Kotlin by using the val of our keyword or like attribute type. So if you want to be able to change the animal name, we would need to change our animal name of type value to a var. And we can see here, we can now change the name. And if we then run it again, we should be able to see that the name is no longer bear. It's then going to be overridden to dog. And one thing you might note, especially if you're familiar with something like Java, because our constructor is like directly inside our name of our class. What if we want to do some kind of manual input or setup whenever we start our animal class we can do a let's actually see we can do an init which is kind of like a method that's going to be called so it's like initializing our animal class so let's just print to the console animal created so now we should see that first to the console we should have animal created printed as we're creating the animal we're then changing the name of our animal to dog and printing the name of the animal. So we should see that we first get animal created like this, and then the name dog. And there's a few more interesting things to the basic classes in Kotlin. We can also add like default values. So we could up here just simply do that our animal name string is by default gonna be a bird. So now, if we do not override the animal name, and if we just give it an empty constructor like this, it does not complain, 
and we should see that the default value of animal name is then set to bird. Or we could change it in here, a bit more manual by actually changing the animal name to bird. And note, it's very interesting that we have direct access to our constructor parameters inside the class without actually needing to do it inside some kind of initialized area. And of course, let me just take, if we watched some of the last video, we did a basic function. Let's just copy this to make it a bit quick and easy. We can simply have a function. This one very simply just adds two numbers together and print it to the console. We can then simply add a function inside an animal and all attributes in Kotlin are public by default, meaning they can be accessed. So now we should also be able to just access and see this. We could do our animal dot add numbers together. We want two and it should then simply just be run as normal. So it's just very simply we can add methods, functions as they call in Kotlin. Very, very simple. And that's very much the very basics of classes and object in Kotlin. And I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.